Welcome to your Daily Double Reading. Today we will be using the Finding Inner Peace Inspiration cards. And for some reason they want me to show you the front of this little book that comes with it. Because it says become the best version of yourself. Which I absolutely love. And we're also using the Good Tarot Mini. So that's a nice combination <laughs> for your message today and your two card combos. So let's get those going so that you can make your intuitive choice for the insight that's coming through for you today. We'll start with the Finding Inner Peace cards and you can ask your intuition, what message do I need to hear for the day? That is aligned most for me. All right, we'll add a tarot card to each of these for some more insight. Okay, <laughs> let's set these for you. Okay, card combo one or card combo number two. Once you've made your selection, head down to the description and click on the timestamp next to your card combo of choice and I will see you in your daily double reading. Hello group one and welcome to your reading today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the first card combo here for your message. Let's look at the finding inner peace card first. Number two, letting go. Now is the time to let go of everything that no longer serves me. So this is a release surrender kind of vibe here. I would also say if you feel called to the ocean, Okay, to breathe in that salt water, it is going to serve you very well to do that just because of the depiction of the card. Uh, this definitely feels like you know what it is, group number one, if there's something that's been racking your mind or taking up space in your energy and you know it's been dragging you down or it's just not serving you anymore, Spirit is encouraging you with this kind of card to create the peace and serenity and space uh, that you need in in your heart and in your mind and in your field, your energy field, um, by releasing and letting go. Let's see what we have connected for some more info. The seven of earth. Okay. Hmm. I feel like he's looking at her or looking to the past. So this just feels like something has been going on for a bit. A seven of earth, a seven of pentacles is about you know, patience, energy, working from experience, growing something slowly. So what I will say, because of this combo, if group number one, you have been working on releasing something, this card combo is telling you today, this is spirit acknowledging, yes, you're doing a great job. Keep doing what you are doing. Keep looking at releasing and surrendering it. It's not yours to carry anymore or really isn't serving you. And it looks like some of you probably have some insight into that already and you're doing the best you can to release it or to leave it behind. Okay. He's also kind of, I just feel like he's, look, he even looks like he's looking up at her. Um, so this just feels like maybe this may be the next step for you. The seven of earth, as I said, it's a patience card. It says you're going to grow things over time that you can claim the bounty that you already have. So move from where you are, but to continue show to show up for 
perhaps this healing energy that's going to come on the back of this release or um yes okay for a lot of you they're saying for a lot of you it's going to be I'm letting it go and then it pops back up so I'm letting it go again. Every time that it comes up, you don't just let it permeate in your energy. The minute that you're conscious of it or that you notice it, maybe you notice your mind thinking about it or trying to figure it out or whatever, right? However it's popping up in your energy. Maybe you feel it in your belly or something happens. Um, whenever that goes on, you don't want to ignore it. You want to make sure that you're taking the time and the energy to address it and to release it again. If you can put some sort of release or surrender practice in place, um, you know, like a spirit box is a good thing or you have a specific box set for spirit and when it pops up, you write down something on a piece of paper and you put it in the jar or the box, um, intentionally handing it over to spirit. You can picture yourself letting it go or releasing it into the arms or the hands of a certain spirit guide or someone in spirit spirit that is guiding you or helping you through this process and allowing yourself to move slowly but steadily. But what I would say is you got to keep showing up for this release. It's important. You don't want to just ignore it and be like, oh, if I release it once, then it's gone because it just feels like it keeps popping up and that's okay. That's the human mind for you. That spirit just checking in and making sure that you're um, doing the best you can to consciously leave something in the past. So if you already started this practice, you're on the right track, keep going in that direction. Something beautiful is going to come of this in the future. You'll be able to grow something wonderful as you continue to let go and release. So I hope that this serves you for the day. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next Daily Double. Hello group two and welcome to your reading today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo here for your message. So let's take a look at your Finding Inner Peace card first. 29, opening my mind and look at that. I open my mind to the love, wisdom, and guidance of the universe and I will learn to trust again. Wow, this is interesting. This feels like multifaceted energy for sure. Um, you got the all-seeing eye happening here, which is a form of protection. This is telling me that you are definitely protected in tapping into your third eye, right? Opening your mind is like your uh, brow chakra. So this group in specifically needs to do some work around the brow. Make sure you're doing clearing work around it or you're assessing uh, what, how it is you're thinking or what it is you're thinking, especially about the future. They're asking you to open up your mind and to believe that you will learn how to not only trust others, but trust your own self, trust your own intuition, trust your own vision again. Um, if you have been feeling called, group number two, to work on, you know, your brow and your divine sight, so your inner sight, what goes on in your mind's eye, you've been drawn to uh, doing meditations or visualizations, you are on the right track with this kind of message. Let's see what is connected to this. Wow, Page of Earth. So this is a brand new chapter for you. This is wonderful. Uh, the Page of Earth is the Page of Pentacles in uh, this deck. And this energy is about turning over a new leaf or really beginning something new. Oh, they're saying they're the same number. Yes, they are. This is a 2911. The page comes after the 10 in the minor arcana suit. So that's also an 11, 1011. So this really is a fresh new start for you. Um, with a page of earth, you know, it's an innocent energy that is going to be directed step by step on the physical plane. It's like learning about yourself. And in this case, learning about um, how to use your mind's eye. You may really want to tap into some sort of a, a learning practice or a class or to research how to open up that third eye, how to open up your mind. Um, they're guiding you to do that now. So if you have been feeling called to that, if you're like, I just wish I could see, you know, um, the messages in my mind's eye better or clearer, or I wish it was more clear for me, or I wish I could see my spirit guides, or I wish I had some clarity. I wish I could go on active visualizations. I wish I could improve my inner sight. If that's been going on for you, this message today says, follow that. Get curious about it. Um, ask spirit, what is my next step? to be able to do that. That's what pages do. They're very curious. They're kind of young. They want more information. They want to know, um, where is this going? What can I do to move this forward? Or how can I act upon this? Especially a page of earth, this means that you're going to get insight on 
the physical action that you can take to open your mind. So this group in particular definitely needs to be very connected to your spirit team. Make sure you're asking. And if things come in your path or, um, you know, you hear about uh, a new meditation course or a new uh, learning mechanism or you see something on social media that sparks your attention, don't be afraid to try it is what they're saying. That's not a mistake. That message, that information, that's coming in on this track to help lead you to being able to open your mind to the love and the wisdom and the guidance that the universe and your spirit team is trying to provide for you. And this just the second message here, if you have been trying to trust yourself, your intuition, or perhaps have had uh, situations in the past where you, you know, your trust was broken, that's a secondary message that's saying this is a new chapter for you to be able to heal that energy, to be able to learn how to trust your vision, trust your inner sight, trust your intuition, and trust others in a new way. New chapter energy. So make sure that you are connected if you pulled these uh, this combo in this group. Very insightful group, opening up the third eye. I'm very excited for you to begin this new journey, and I hope it goes amazingly well. It's very exciting. Uh, so I hope that this serves you. And if you enjoyed this reading, and of course you don't want to miss any of the readings that follow, you know what to do. And I'll see you in the next Daily Double.